Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will discuss the fascinating world of tensors. Tensors are a crucial concept in physics and engineering, often used in the study of general relativity, continuum mechanics and many other fields. In this video, we will explore some of the most important and selected MCQs on tensor to help you prepare for your exams. And in the end, I will leave 5 questions for you based on our discussion. Please answer them in the comment section which will help you in revise the full video. Ok, let's start. Question number 1. An index which is repeated in a given expression so that the summation convention can be applied is called dummy index. So your correct option is option A. Question number 2. A tensor of rank 2 in 3 dimension has how many components? Okay. So remember, a tensor of rank R in n dimension will have n to the power R components. Okay. So here, rank is 2 and dimension is 3. So 3 to the power. So the tensor will be having 9 components. Okay. So C is your correct option. Next, Kronecker delta is a tensor of rank 2. C is your correct option. Next, 4. The Einstein summation convention implies that summation is implied over repeated indices in a term. So, A is your correct option. Next, if an index occurs only once in a given expression, then it is a Three index. So, A is your correct option. Next, the number of independent components of a symmetric tensor of rank 2 in n dimensional space is n into n plus 1 by 2. So, B is your correct option. Next, vector R tensor of order 1. So, A is your correct option. Next, the number of independent components of his Q symmetric tensor of rank 2 in n dimensional space is n into n minus 1 by 2. So, C is your correct option. Next, in the context of a skew symmetric tensor, how many independent components are there in 3 dimensions? We know for skew symmetric tensor, the number of independent components will be n into n minus 1 by 2. So, 3 into 2 by 2. So, 2, 2 cancel out. So, answer will be 3. So, A is your correct option. Next, the Kronecker delta del ij is defined by, we know del ij is 1 when e, i equals to j and it is 0 when i not equals to j. So, A is your correct option. Next, the Levi-Civita symbol is used to express the cross product of two vectors. So, B is your correct option. Next, the Levi-Civita symbol is defined to be epsilon ijk equals to 1 if ijk is an even permutation of 1, 2, 3 and epsilon ijk equals to minus 1 if ijk is an odd permutation of 1, 2, 3 and epsilon ijk is 0 if any of the two indices are equals. Okay. So, A is your correct option. Next, in the context of vectors, the outer, outer product is used to define the cross product of the vector. So, C is your correct option. Next, 14. When the Kronecker delta is used to sum over repeated indices, it implies the process of contraction. So, C is your correct option. Next, if S i j k is a tensor of rank 3, then its contraction is of rank. So, remember, contraction results in rank less to then the original tensor. Okay. So, H, this 
tensor S having range 3. So, contraction will result in range less to than the original tensor. So, the range of the resultant tensor will be 1. So, C is your correct option. Next, the value of Ai delta Ij is, we know, Kronecker delta Ij is equals to 1 only when I equals to J. So, the answer will be Aj. So, A is your correct option. Next, 17. The number of components of a tensor of order R in n dimension H. Number of components will be n to the power R. So, B is your correct option. Next, moment of inertia is a tensor of rank 2. So, C is your correct option. Next, the coordinate differential form a contravariant tensor. C is your correct option. Next, 20. Minikowski space-time continuum holds in both in inertial frame and non-inertial frame. So, C is your correct option. The value of dxi dyj is delta ij. So, C is your correct option. Next, 22. Which symbol represents substitution operator? That is your Kronecker delta. So, A is your correct option. Next, 23. Which symbol represents alternating operator? That is your Levi-Simidas symbol. Okay. So, B is your correct option. Next, a symmetric tensor remains unchanged under a transposition operation. So, A is your correct option. Next, 25. Kronecker delta I I will be equal to 3. So, D is your correct option. Delta I J delta I K equals to delta J K. So, B is your correct option. Epsilon IJK, Epsilon LMK equals to, this is very much important, so try to remember the relation, this is equals to delta IL, delta JM minus delta IM, delta J. So, B is your correct option. Next, 28. Epsilon IJK is a tensor of ray 3. So, C is your correct option. Next, 29. Which of the following applications primarily relies on tensor with higher ranks? Is quantum field theory. So, A is your correct option. Next, 30. Scalars are tensor of order 0. So, C is your correct option. Next, epsilon ijk, epsilon ijk equals to. So, if you remember the relation we discussed in the previous questions, you can easily find out this will be equals to 6. So, D is your correct option. Next, 32. In the context of a symmetric tensor, how many independent components are there in three dimensions? In a symmetric tensor, we know the ind independent components will be n into n plus 1 by 2. So, 3 into 4 by 2. So, this will be equals to 6. So, B is your correct option. Next, 33. If S, I, J, K and P, L, M are two tensor of rank 3 and 2 respectively, then their outer product S, I, J, K and P, L, M is a tensor of rank 5. So, your correct option is option D. Remember, for outer product, the resultant, resultant tensor will be having the rank of summation of the individual tensor. Next, 34. If S, I, J, K and T, L, M are two tensor of rank 3 and 2 respectively, then their inner product S, I, J, K, T, L, M is a tensor of rank. Remember, inner product is a combination of two operations. One is the outer product. Then contraction. Okay. So, H, it is asking about the inner product. So, due to outer product, the rank will be 
added so 3 plus 2 and in contraction we know there will be rain less than 2 okay so the resultant rain will be 3 so your correct option is option a next 35 a non zero levisimina symbol implies the existence of even and odd permutation for even the value will be plus 1 and for odd it will be minus 1 and if any one of the indices is equals then it will be 0. So, C is your correct option. Next, 36. In the study of general relativity, the Riemann curvature tensor is used to characterize the curvature of space time. So, A is your correct option. Next, when two tensors are added together, the resulting tensor will have the components that are the sum of the components of the original tensor. So, B is your correct option. Next, G, P, Q, G, R, Q equals to delta P, R. So, A is your correct option. G, I, J is. We know this is a covariant tensor of ring 2. This is a function of H over I. This is a symmetric tensor and this is also known as fundamental or metric tensor. So, all of the options are correct. So, all of the above. So, E is your correct option. Last question. Consider a skew symmetric tensor Aij with i and j from 1 to 5. Then the number of components of tensor. Okay. See, this is given. This is a skew symmetric tensor. And in skew symmetric tensor, we know the number of components will be n into n minus 1 by 2. And you can see n is the dimension. Here, i and j runs from 1 to 5. So, n value will be 5. Okay. So, 5 into 4 by 2. So, this will be 10. Okay. So, your correct option is 10. Okay. Now, next. So, there, there will be 5 questions I am leaving for you. Please answer them in the comment section. These questions are based whatever we have discussed in this video till now. Okay. So, the first question is the Levisimidus tensor is also known as the alternating tensor, symmetric tensor, skew symmetric tensor or identity tensor. Okay. Next, the product of two tensor results in another tensor of rank equal to. Next question, 43. Epsilon ijk, epsilon ijm equals to. Next, 44. In most general case, which one of the following is not a second order tensor? 45. Last question. An index which is repeated in a given expression so that the summation convention can be applied is called. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this MCQs on tensor helpful and informative. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful and share it with your friends who might benefit from it. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. I will be happy to help. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. We have more exciting content coming your way covering various topics in physics and law. Good luck with your studies and see you in the next video. Thank you.